All right, welcome back. It's early June, 1861. Uh, got the game, got the return back from Ironclads. So we're pretty much ready to, um, pretty much ready to continue on. Um, so basically, uh, in Virginia, the South Carolina forces are continuing to go to Harbor's Ferry. Um, the main forces cannot move for another turn, um, and we're kind of beginning to see what it's going to look like over here and. Uh, Virginia with forces holding uh, City Point, Norfolk, and Suffolk. Um, the big decision I've decided to make is to build ironworks in coastal cities. According to this, and this is actually the first time I'm doing this, is uh, two of them will be built in New Orleans and one of them in Manchester, Virginia. Now what's weird about that is I can't actually figure out where Manchester, Virginia is. Um, so it does make me a bit nervous, but I, I'm committed to holding New Orleans at you know, virtually all costs. Um, the other option, of course, looks like it's Nashville, Memphis, and Rome. Um, it's tempting. You can lose Nashville and Memphis pretty pretty quickly, though, if things go against you. I feel like I'm going to have a very better chance of holding New Orleans for um, for a longer time. Um, the other options are. Um, to build armories um, or arsenals, so uh, I don't really have enough money or war, well, I don't have war supply uh, to do these. Um, oh, actually, this is interesting. So, so arsenals gives you. Actually, they all can give you different um, war supplies. So the question is, it says once completed, we can receive additional production of war supplies. So that's what it's saying for all of them. Is that right? Um, very, very interesting. I, you know, it's funny. It's one of those things I've actually never, I've never done. You know, so you know, does it make more sense to? Uh, you know, to to basically build. I feel I don't know though. I feel I feel pretty good about um, having, having them built in New Orleans. Two of them. That's that's going to be a critical place for me to hold. I'm going to um, I'm going to invest in it. So let's leave that as is. Um, not, I guess the other big thing, of course, is this continuing on uh, continuing on to Springfield. Um, and we're kind of beginning to see a little bit of action uh, out here in um, out here in, in Texas, if I can figure out where we are. Here we go. So um, I got my first ranger ranger unit up. So they're going to kind of move up to Fort Fort Stanton. Um, we got a couple other got a brigade here and a battery building along with another another ranger unit. I think there should be uh, Shelby should appear relatively soon with. Um, uh, with with some forces, so here's what the production looks like: um, some ships, a few units here and there, with a couple a couple of batteries, um, and uh, here's what our replacements look like. Nothing else. Nothing elite. We do have nine left on um, on regular infantry. No more uh, light artillery, but we have two. We do have two left in on the field artillery. All right, so let's go ahead and run the turn. I I suspect that this could be the last um, quiet turn. I didn't have enough money to, or enough war supply to uh, acquire more um, railroad and, and riverine capacity. So that will be something I'll be looking to do once we can kind of uh, sort of up the war supply uh, production production numbers. So it looks like the, the right Patterson's force is beginning to move. Um, So Lion is coming down the river. New England Squadron is on the move. New York Squadron is also on the move. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so the Union is now in Rolla and Jefferson City, Missouri. The Wash Brigade has arrived. And okay, so we have our first battle, first real battle. So um, Winder had basically the two militia units, the one cavalry unit, and then the small reserve brigade. Um, losses are about 1.7 to 1. Um, it looks like it is a Confederate victory. Uh, no artillery, so that may have been our, our saving saving grace there. Additional um, units are on the way, so we'll see if our if our additional um, forces from South Carolina actually arrive uh, in time. So Sumner is now taken, coming down and Bloomington. And looks like the South Carolina forces have arrived in Harpers Ferry. And the Union has taken uh, Leesburg with a small force. Okay, so um, let's kind of just take a moment to pause and look at the results. Um, in the Washington uh, Brigade is a uh, here, along with the 2nd Brigade, there's much left of it as far as cohesion goes. Um, here is here's Winder's Force now. Um, it's a bit more uh, well-rounded, as you can see, including um, some artillery pieces and actual uh, even a supply wagon. The main armies are now all open, including, of course, the Union one as well. So that basically means we got to think about how to also defend Fredericksburg in the next turn to avoid that quicker, quick maneuver down there. Um, Huger is now available as well. Magruder has arrived um, into uh, Williamsburg. Um, and nothing's changed there. It looks like there was some action out west, of course. Um, so the Union is definitely interested in uh, <laughs> Missouri enough to take a look. I'm going to restructure all of these to see what's going on with our, our forces in Missouri, but uh, I think we should be pretty, in a pretty decent situation. Uh, meanwhile, here, what I, basically what I'm doing is I'm increasing my military control over, over these areas. Um, I'd like to get it up to um, basically 100% uh, or above 95, uh, so that when the Union comes through, they, they have to then take an offensive posture um, let me see what happened, um, if anything down here. So it looks like the Dallas event has fired. Uh, we're going to, we'll try to find that in a second. So that is probably now an objective city. Let's double check. Um, it is. So you can see it's flashing blue and that's an under control by the United States. That's an event where, um, basically Sam Houston takes Dallas. Um, And we did take Fort Stanton. Okay, and uh, here's our force with a uh, Baylor that has um, appeared in um, Masilla. So let me try to go through the key, see if there's any key messages that are really of a big interest to us. Um, of course, there was the battle. Um, this is basically a lot about the forces moving around. Um, Okay, so these are about our forces being finished and being ready to move. Uh, okay, so at the end, this is what I was talking about. So Sam Houston's fight. Um, fight against secession. So uh, there's Texas. Yeah, and this is this is obviously kind of like a hypothetical thing that, that could have happened. It didn't actually quite happen that way. Um, but so we have basically 
we need to recapture the city within five months. So you could bring in some extra prestige. Basically, it's now an objective city. Um, so the Union's building armories in New England, and we're going to, as you can see there, uh, build them in coastal cities. All right, so this next turn that's going to be coming up is a big one because we can actually maneuver with our, our full forces. We also need to think about what's going on here. Um, I think, you know, Harpers Ferry is now in a decent situation with um, uh, with the, the, the entrenchment level of three and actually having um, artillery there uh, and some normal forces, but uh, something to consider uh, what to go forward. In addition to, we haven't put, paid any attention to West Virginia. Um, these forces are now um, open, and Floyd, of course, is, is not great. Um, so I need to think about what to do here if I'm going to try to actually do something in West Virginia or simply evacuate. It's hard to it's hard to hold this kind of this kind of area up here. Um, so, all right, I'll see you next time.